inside this thing is where the diaphragm is. That little guy. Just like that, no matter what, 15, 20 minutes, we just fix the machine. Seven minutes. Okay, what's wrong with this washer is one of the water valves is not letting water in, so the little diaphragms are broken, so we need to replace them. Gotta shut some water off. We're gonna have a big mess on our hands. Just gonna shut off the cold and the hot water. Trying to figure out which one the cold is. This isn't an exact science. What you're doing is popping off the solenoids, trying to remember where they go. Because underneath these is these diaphragms. Obviously, they don't give you enough room to do this. Inside this thing is where the diaphragm is. That little guy. This one actually looks okay. Uh, see how it's all black? That means the rubber's all wore out. I got some new ones in my bag here. See, look at that. So what can happen is, is there's actually a piece of metal in here, and this solenoid is electric, and it sucks that magnet down. And when it sucks that magnet down, this valve opens. Well, if it's broken like this, it, it can't suck it down because there's water under here holding it back. And that's what's happening to this one. The fact that all this black stuff, they just, they just wear out. And that's the magnet there. It's on a spring in there. And you want to be careful you don't turn this over because you'll lose all your parts. But there's the, there's the spring right there. That whole thing took the whole washer out. Yeah, that one thing shut it all down. And so I'm going to check all three of them on the cold water just to make sure because I've done it before where I change one thinking that's it and then there's like another one right there so and it just screws back in. You don't want to force it because it's all plastic. But these are repairable ones. Some machines don't have repairable ones, some do. So now we'll take off the next one and you notice it's not very tight so you don't need to cram down on it and if you had to have a dealer do this every time I mean you're talking hundred and some bucks just for them to show up. <laughs> Look at that one. It's completely missing the end. Wow. The end's still stuck in the machine here. See, like if I hadn't checked this one, I would have thought I had it solved and I didn't. I like to dump the water out of them just to make sure. I mean, it can have water in it. It's not the end of the world, but yeah. Look at how dirty I'm getting. That's just from rubber. That's the rubber's just deteriorating. Your hard water deteriorates the rubber. Cheap parts. These could be real cheap ones. Struggling getting this one on. Come on. There we go. Now that we had two out of the three, we're going to take the third one out. And this is just as bad. Look, look at that. Now you can buy the whole valve, but not just the diaphragm. But the whole valve is like I think it's 60, 70 bucks. These little diaphragms, I think, come out to like 50 cents to a dollar. So sometimes it's worth it just to take it apart and fix them. Sometimes not. All right, I'll put these back on. These go back on like a pain. Sometimes you have to wiggle them and they have to snap on. So if they don't snap on, they're not on all the way. And they actually have a little groove they fit in. There we go. See, I just popped right on. Now we're going to go ahead and bend this, make sure it all works. Just like that, no matter what, 15, 20 minutes, we just fix the machine. Seven minutes. And now the dealer would charge you $300 for seven minutes worth of a repair.
Are you guys gonna get the 300? No, no, we're gonna get the shaft. <laughs> we don't get the money, sorry. Good point though, but no. We just took all the money out, now I have no quarters. So we'll load this up with some quarters and see what she does. Let me get the key. That's okay. I'll get this one for you. Because you got two of them, don't you? Yeah. I'll help you out with one. Well, they're on the other side. Top loaders are on the other side. Yes. Those are all brand. There's, there's two there, but the rest of them work. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I need to get that finished, too. Yeah, do you, you normal? Uh -huh. Yep, it's on normal. Do we want hot, warm, no, or warm? Warm? Okay, let me finish putting money in, you're good to go. No problem. We're gonna vent this thing, make sure it works. You never wanna leave these things, because what'll happen is you won't vend them and then somebody will come along and use it and it, it'll it mess up on them. Oh, somebody broke. There we go. How do you start it? Just push start. Oh. There you go. Yeah, somebody ripped the sticker off. Gotta get new stickers. What this one problem had was when you went into the rinse cycle, you had no cold water. So you had, so it would actually air out and it couldn't fill up. It'd be an air fill. And so when you get like a machine that goes halfway through and it airs out, that's what it is. So that was those diaphragms in there. Now I just gotta run that and do something else while I'm waiting to see how this does. So, oh, sorry. Uh, let me get this all out of her way. Clothes, this really? That's what that is? Man. Yeah, nowadays that it's... Towel, I was like, oh my God. Because <laughs> it's recreational now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's why you wear a mask. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, when COVID started, I had to wear it, and I still there you go. wear it. Yep, you're good. Just turn it I work social service. So I no, go. I don't. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of like second nature. <laughs> this is why you want to fix stuff. It's like that. You know, just a half an afternoon, you can cover all your repairs and save yourself all this money. Because like I say before, you don't want to do the $10 an hour job, you want to do the $100 an hour job. So in your business, anything you can do, like cleaning is a $10 an hour job. I'm not going to clean. Pay someone to clean. But maintenance, finances, um, reinvesting your money, those are the jobs you want to be doing.